Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Bird and coming at you fast with another Paragon Tips and Tricks video. And today we are going to be talking about a topic that's very important for new players to understand specifically. Um, more so silver and gold ELO players according to Agora at the moment in time uh, that they might be considered silver and gold. Because I see a lot of lower level, lower ELO people struggling with this. And I understand that the majority of my audience is somewhere around there. Now, my builds are for people of all skill levels. And they work on most skill levels and all that stuff. But um, I think it's very important to understand the concept of teamwork. As you guys see right here from some Greystone gameplay I got uh, about a day ago. That I'm going to be sh just talking over it a little bit talking to you guys a little bit how to be just a better teammate even if you're playing in solo queue because for those of you who watch my live streams you know I play a lot of solo queue and I still try to be the best teammate I possibly can be this game w in fact was me playing solo queue I was not communicating whatsoever with any of these people that I'm playing with and you're gonna see some team fights you're just gonna see some rotations there's a couple things that go into being a good teammate and having good teamwork in general. Now, all of these specific points that I'm going to talk about, I will make specific videos on them because they're all really good talking points. But there are a couple things that you just need to learn in MOBAs that will make you a good teammate. The first thing, as you guys might take a look at the map right now, is notice that our tower is getting attacked by the enemy. Okay, this means that I have a decent amount of map awareness. I notice that the enemy is overextended. I notice that they're attacking our tower, and now they're out of position and we can actually fight back and get some kills because my teammates have done a good job on you know hitting this rampage if I didn't show up this rampage might have possibly survived and more of these people probably would have survived Iggy might have been able to survive if I wasn't there to cause a little bit of extra damage who knows all right the thing that I'm trying to make with this point is that being a good teammate means being present when you are needed, okay? A lot of people I notice, especially in silver and gold, are just going to stay in their own lane and just farm up while the entire team is having a big-ass fight in the middle, and you can easily rotate in time and have some help in it. Because what I used to do too, and I'm guilty of this when I started playing MOBAs, is I would look at the map and be like, oh, there's a fight going on there, but I'm not going to make it in time, you know? They're going to die by the time I get there. Like right there, I turn around because I know my teammates have a total advantage in that fight and me getting there by the time I get there the enemy is going to get out already so there's no point in me wasting my time but what a lot of people think is I'm just going to keep farming I'm not going to waste my time I'm going to keep farming while my teammates die over there which actually happened with Cam Day I didn't uh, actually that Cam Day was an enemy my bad the blue cover just threw me off I am doing this through the theater system which I haven't made a video like this before but um doing it right now because I forgot to record this game <laughs> it's my bad but yeah being aware of your map and helping your teammates out in a team fight is probably the most important thing to be honest and I do want to make a separate video about map awareness and how you can actually gain good map awareness after playing for a while and what to look out for specifically but right now let's just talk about it in general that you need to have good map awareness you need to pay attention to the map you need to see when your teammates need you to show up and help your teammates especially if you're something like a ranger that is a massive presence in a team fight and deals a lot of damage especially late game because that's very 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 important Another thing is obviously a lot of people can pick up on this by the time they're in gold elo is harvesters, all right, fighting for the harvesters, have a good harvester control, and stepping on them often when you're run by them and when you're in a good position to. Now, if somebody's destroying a tower in your lane, ignore the harvester, run by it, and protect the tower first, and then get the harvester later. It's not going to go anywhere, okay? The other team is not 100% focused on destroying your harvesters, so you don't have to worry about picking that up unless it's like super, super important, but usually it's not. And then also, besides Harvesters, this is the one that people miss a lot, especially in Gold, Elo, and Lower. This is Wards, okay? Not just the Scouts Ward, not just your default little Scouts Ward, but Shadow Wards, okay? And I gotta make another video on this. I always talk about this, that I'm gonna make a video eventually. I'm gonna have a big-ass celebration when I finally make this video, and I promise, guys, I will, all right? One more week of OCHEM, one more week of Summer Classes, and I'm done, and I can have a lot of time to make videos on the daily for you guys so just be a little more patient that's why they've been coming out every two or three days because I've just been really busy working <coughs> and studying so but besides that wards shadow wards very 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 important okay the difference between Shadow Wars and Scout Wars, for those of you who don't know is you get two charges and not just one first of all and second of all when you put down a Shadow Ward, the other team cannot see the Shadow Ward, okay, unless they put down a Shadow Ward or they stay in the Shadow Pool. 
So this is a very concept to understand because Shadow Wards can literally give you an idea of where the enemy is on the map without them even knowing it. Especially in Silver and Gold when not too many people use wards because they just don't understand what they do or because they don't think it's as useful as, they, as, as it really is. And Shadow Wards do give you bonus, right? They give you bonus damage. They give you, you know, bonus health depending on what kind of Shadow Ward you pick up. They also have full upgrade bonuses too. So they're very useful items still. You know, it's not like, oh my god, they don't do give me enough damage, I'm going to be super weak. They do give you damage, they do give you health, depending on which one you get. So just look into Shadow Wards, and make sure you use them, and make sure you get them early, and constantly placing them down in your jungle, in the enemy's jungle, okay? If you guys take a look on the map in the top right, if you notice the little icons that kind of look like eyeballs with an eyebrow over them, okay, that's the best way I can explain it, is those are Shadow Wards, and you notice how many blue Shadow Wards there are, and how many orange Shadow Wards there are, and I'm like the only person with freaking orange Shadow Wards on our team, because we're on orange team right now, there's quite a bit of blue shadow wards on the other side because they're actually communicating, they're actually in a party. So right here, I'm with my teammate. They're really good teammates. They notice what's going down right now, and they notice that they can come back in here and help me with this fight. But, um, you know, they, they kind of peel the enemy a little bit away from me, and I think I'm able to get out of the situation if I do remember correctly. Yes, I do, so... Uh, they do notice, and they do save me, okay? If my teammates didn't show up, I was dead for sure. All right, there was nothing stopping the enemy team from absolutely destroying me once I resurrected. If my enemy team wasn't show, if my team wasn't showing presence in that situation, so let's recap real quick. Okay, so to be a team player, obviously you want to make sure that you're always with your team. I know that sounds obvious, but a lot of people really don't pay attention to that. Okay, you got to take a look at your map, you got to be aware of your map, and you got to rotate and fight with your team when necessary. Okay, also you have to be able to help out your team. Now sometimes your teammates are going to be stupid and going to be way in over their head, and it's better to leave them alone instead of just feeding yourself and giving the other. Team team more XP. But if there's any chance whatsoever of saving your teammate, especially if you're a support hero or a tank like Steel, then you gotta make sure to help them out. Especially if there's somebody important like a ranger like Sparrow or Twin Blast that really do need help getting out. And if you do have, if you do have the crowd control, if you're Howitzer and you can use your mines to bounce the enemy back, or if you're Steel and you can use your shield to push them or, you know, block them, then it's important, you know, use it. Use those moves. Those are meant to save your allies. Those are meant to protect your allies. Those are meant to peel for your allies, okay? It's very, very important. And then, of course, use wards and plants, place harvesters, okay? That's just a, a default way of helping, you know? That's just a passive way of helping out your team. The last thing that I could probably say about being a good teammate and something that everybody should do about good practice is understanding your teammates kits okay now this comes from a lot of play time okay this under this comes from just a lot of experience but understanding what each hero does and what each hero is meant to do so you know you have to understand that Iggy for example is a great lane pusher but he not might he might not I don't know why I can't English right now guys it's too early in the morning for this shit but <laughs> he might not be able to peel for you too well you know Especially later on in the game when, you know, shit like that happens. Now, here I try and die for my teammate, try to save his life, but he ends up dying. And I'm like, oh, crap, I got to get the hell out of here. And I see another ADC, so I'm going to peel out of here. But still, I try to be a good teammate, and I try to help him. I try to make sure that he didn't die, but he did die. But at least I tried, you know, and that's all that matters. But understanding your teammate's kit, you know, understanding what they're capable of. For example, a sparrow doesn't have a getaway. So understanding that if a sparrow doesn't have a getaway on your team, you have to be there to peel for her. You know, she needs help the most. And vice versa, also in a team fight that works, you know? If you know that Sparrow is an easy target, go and kill Sparrow first, because she can do a lot of damage in a team fight if you don't focus her. And so on and so forth. So just having a general game understanding is very important as well. Again, guys, these are beginner tips, alright? If you're watching this and you're in Diamond Elo, you already know all this stuff. This isn't even meant for you. I actually don't even know why you're still here. Like, seriously, why the hell? I mean, I mean, thanks for watching, but... I mean, drop a like on the way out, I guess. But still, like, you know, this, this, these are really general tips, but a lot of people still don't understand them. And it's very important to get a good understanding of these general basic ideas if you want to be a good teammate in MOBAs in general, but also specifically in Paragon, like Harvesters is another talking point. And, and, you know, with that comes, you know, understanding that, okay, is the jungle for me? Okay, understanding your role. Like, is the jungle for me? What am I supposed to do? Like, am I supposed to lane? Am I supposed to help out my ADC? Am I supposed to solo lane? Like, what am I supposed to do? Understand all of those things when it comes to your hero. The better you know your hero, the better you can help your teammates play well with theirs. So, again, having good general knowledge in the game is important as well. So those are three main 
you know, key points that make a good team player, all right, having good map awareness and being ready on the rotation for your team, especially for team fights, like you guys notice here, we see that Iggy and, and Ramp and whoever else over there, Sparrow, are all pushed up left, so as a team, we're rotating over to left, and we're going to have one more big team fight right here, which I don't remember how it's going to end, I know our Twin Blast needs help, and he's probably going to die to the Sparrow, if I remember correctly, unless he's a total pimp, and he doesn't die to the Sparrow, and we totally come over here, oh yeah, Murdoch snipes him, that's right, so we're going to focus the Sparrow first, make sure she dies, and then go after after them so of course map awareness harvesters and wards and just general knowledge about your hero the game and just being good at understanding other heroes and what they excel at and using both of those concepts in conjunction to just you know be a good teammate and help win in team engagement so hopefully this video kind of helped out it wasn't really too specific but at the same time that was kind of a, the point Okay, that was kind of the point of this video, is to not be too specific. Look at me going balls deep when my teammates already drew out, man. That's just, that's just, how, I, that's just how I be, man. I'm all about that team, homie. You already know. But uh, if you did enjoy this video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all the good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you guys have a...